Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all true crime games for the Nintendo GameCube. True Crime Streets of LA is an undercover cop game. I'm not getting into this story because I have mixed feelings about it. It was good, but it wasn't really something. The main character has some really annoying dialogue lines, but overall the story is okay. It felt like one of those generic cop movies with kung fu tossed into the mix. And it's nice that the story has alternatives, whether you are a good cop or a bad cop. On the gameplay department, no matter what you do, driving, shooting, fighting, the game feels clunky. But at least, these parts have some great aspects too. In fighting you get a good deal of moves, and same goes for shooting, you can have bullet time, you can take cover, and you can dual wield shotguns or other heavy weapons. And the most surprising part about the game is the map. The map is gigantic, the developers used satellite imagery to make a very accurate representation of LA. They said you could give directions in real life by playing the game. And that is crazy. But because of hardware limitations, the buildings don't look as detailed. But considering how close it is to the 2002 LA, the game is a hidden gem. And the free roam has you do various activities in the city. You get calls from dispatch that there are some crimes on your way. And the crimes are mostly repetitive. But it's still nice that you can play good cop or bad cop with the side missions on your way. Overall the game is weird. When you think about it objectively, the game sounds like a masterpiece. It has a gigantic map, destructible environments, variety in gameplay, a good and original story that has a good and a bad alternative, stealth parts, shooting parts, melee fights, but even if the game sounds incredible objectively, subjectively, the game felt clunky all around. The story wasn't really that exciting, even if it's original. The driving was mostly annoying. Controls were clunky in general. What I want to say is that the game is good, but it's far from being a masterpiece. It's still a good game nonetheless, though beware that the clunkiness of the game is very frustrating in some moments of the game later on. In True Crime New York, you play as Marcus Reed, a former criminal that switches sides and becomes a detective. His brother was murdered and he needs as much help as possible into solving the mystery of the murder. And so, he is torn between loyalty to the badge and loyalty to his kingpin father. A big improvement you can spot is in the side quests. They are more exciting now. Instead of just beating up some people on the streets like in the previous game in LA, now you can respond to dispatch for stuff like store robberies, bus hijacks or drunken crazy drivers. And there's again a huge drawback that prevents the game from being truly great. The controls. They are as clunky and sluggish as in the first game. And since you will have to do a lot of driving, the slippery controls will make you crash more than you want to. And that's really annoying. And overall the controls are really clunky and sluggish and hinder part of the fun. Sure, the game still is fun, but some better controls would have made the game way better. Overall the two games would have been really great games if they would have had better controls. The clunky controls makes these two games rather frustrating than being fun. They are playable, but still, even if you can squeeze a lot of fun out of these two games, and even if the two games sound amazing on paper, the clunky controls will prove you how important good controls are in a video game, and how a potential masterpiece can be ruined by one major flaw. The controls. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.